Welcome to the supernaturally wonderful world of God and Stacy Otter's adventures. You ought to see God through my eyes and you'll be saying, Wow, thanks God, how'd you do that? Woohoo, it's me, Stace. Did you miss me? <laughs> I know you did. Because even when I'm sleeping, God will be like, Psst, Stace, are you sleeping? <laughs> and I'm like, Excuse me, God, I'm sleeping. I think he gets bored. When I'm asleep. <laughs> okay, so this story is just going to absolutely thrill you because I'm in reverent awe of all the orchestration God goes through to tell me to put shh in my video. I'm just like, how'd you do that, God? <laughs> so, I have filmed another video called Ridiculously Comfortable. And when I filmed it, you didn't see the original version, but I put over here a cloud talking like it was God talking. And in the original one, it said, Stace, don't tell him you're my favorite. But after I filmed it, then I heard God say, Stace, I want you to put, shh, don't tell him you're my favorite. And I said, God, I already edited it and loaded it. I'd have to redo it. But duh, I don't want to be like the Israelites and complain, right? So, and then I happen to be watching other videos. And then I happen upon this video. When I was watching it, I was just in sheer, absolutely amazement. Because look in the window of the video. I mean, how many stores do you know have shh? in the window <laughs> i don't know how god does that look at the orchestration so anyways i redid the video and he was happy <laughs> me too so um oh because it's always awesome to hear from god even if it's one word so um, oh, and I always like to do everything with eyes to see, ears to hear, heart to feel, and most importantly, Bible verse to confirm, because it lets me know that I'm not crazy. <laughs> and um, it's fun for him, and it's fun for me, because I don't know how he does that. But I happen upon this uh, Bible verse, and it's 1 Kings 19, 11 through 12. And it says, and this is Elijah and God talking. Then he was told, go stand on the mountain at attention before God. God will pass by. A hurricane, a hurricane wind ripped through the mountains and shattered the rocks before God. But God wasn't to be found in the wind. After the wind, an earthquake. But God wasn't found in the earthquake. After the earthquake, fire. But God wasn't in the fire. And after the fire, a gentle and quiet whisper like, and, and then the New King James Version says, And after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, a still, small voice. Like, stay, don't tell him you're my favorite. <laughs> so, I don't know about you, but it thrills me that I heard from God. Oh, and then my roommate, she had a dream. Or it was God in her dream. And she said, she goes, Stace, God told me to... Take more iron and to eat avocados. And then she had quit eating avocados because she thought they were too expensive. But I told her, duh, look at the big picture. God told you in your dream to eat avocados. So that must mean he's going to give you the money to afford them. So then that thrilled her even more because now she's going to be even healthier. So I hope and I impart, impartation for you to have the eyes to see, ears to hear, Heart to feel, and most importantly, the Bible verse to confirm everything that God wants you to do or just so he can thrill you. <laughs> just like he thrills me. So I hope you have a supernaturally wonderful day. And aloha, shalom, shalom. Peace. <laughs> Bye.